What? What's what's offensive? My honesty? Did Haley's PR team already attack it? Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 10 p.m. and we are both a little bit elevated, but we had to sit down right now to talk about some things that we have seen going on on social media for the past 12 hours. I'm not gonna say 24 hours anymore because clearly there's been a I'm lot not, going on. I'm not on TikTok that much. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is going to be Jacqueline Schill. <laughs> because yesterday in our video, we were talking about how she was trying to let everyone know that her brand, Cozy, was Oprah approved. And of course, underneath this Cozy post, there were a few comments that were not so nice and I say a few because when I looked at it there were only six comments underneath the post from Cozy. Some were congratulating Jacqueline, others were calling her out, others were literally calling her a liar because Oprah has not ever seen Cozy before in her life. Well the lady that wrote the article left a comment beneath it and she was like I love these slippers, they're amazing, whatever the she said. Some people have noticed now because there are actually two posts for this Oprah approved thing. You have the main one where she's saying that she's Oprah approved and then you have the second one where she just hashtags Oprah. It's just a picture of the slippers. That had a lot more comments and those comments were not friendly either. But people have noticed that the lady that wrote the article has deleted her comment in support of these slippers. I can't Does imagine she not stand behind why. her work? <laughs> She must not stand behind her work. That just gives me more of the impression that that was bought and paid for. Do you think that that was part of the deal? When Jaclyn Hill sat down to read that description on Fiverr to buy mm -hmm. this shit, do you think that it said one complimentary comment with your purchase of article? Do you think it said that? All I know is there were probably a good amount of DMs that Pooja was receiving after posting this on Jacqueline Hill's thing because she clearly did not do her due diligence about this brand and just took that paycheck and was like, okay, I'll put you in here at number six and number 22. And actually, speaking of Jacqueline Hill, we went out today and I bought a Stanley cup because I know that we were talking shit about it in our last video and I wanted to see, honestly, I do think that this cup is overpriced. This I paid $45 for over at Target. Now, because all the influencers are talking about it, they all have the Amazon links. You can get this for like $65. This was the limited edition color. It's, it's so, a very pretty white. Though. White. It does look very <laughs> like, nice. I did like a limited edition color white. Like, wow. I would have thought like maybe like cool, like a chartreuse, maybe like a turquoise <laughs> or something. Not a fucking white. Now I understand why influencers are pushing this cup so much because they are receiving a really good commission off of this. I don't know if Stanley is sponsoring the influencers outside of Amazon because Amazon commission is like a little, it's like TikTok. It must not be that good then. <laughs> yeah. Moving on from that, I feel like there's like a lot of updates to stories that we have talked about over the past few days because the other day we told you guys that Glamzilla was getting called out because back in 2022 she did a video for Bobby Brown where she loved this concealer oh my gosh it was amazing it was a first impression she just loved it this concealer wand holds enough product in it so you don't have to double dip that's cool it's by Bobby Brown it's their skin full cover concealer let's try it out I think there's wow yeah there's enough to do both your eyes oh my gosh yeah it really holds all of that product that's so cool and it's full coverage and literally melts into your skin look at it okay i was not expecting this but it is bl you see how nice it blends into the skin i am so shocked my skin looks so smooth and there's no creasing at all okay i've got you zoomed in because it's full coverage without looking like full Full coverage, Bobby Brown. I am so impressed. Well, flash forward to 2023 when someone commented under one of her newer videos and asked for a recommendation for the concealer. It wasn't Bobby Brown. Mm. She actually told him that she did not care for the Bobby Brown one. And instead of the Bobby Brown one, she said that they should try out the Maybelline Age Rewind. So when that comment was left, a lot of people were out there thinking like, oh, she's fishing for a sponsorship. She wants them to see that and send her like some PR. And then all of a sudden it's a paid partnership. Well, now Glamzilla is getting called out because she asked that question of, can you trust the TikTok beauty influencers? Which was just not good for anyone because now everyone over on TikTok is in the comment section underneath every single beauty influencers post they are leaving like is this sponsored are they paying you to do this are you lying to us well earlier today glamzilla uploaded another video that is totally not sponsored and definitely not fishing for a paid partnership to be put under the post well, over on TikTok and on social media in general, the Maybelline Age Rewind, they released a pink shade. It's starting to go viral. So Glamzilla took her happy ass over to the store and picked up one for herself. She <laughs> said it was the last one in the store because it is just going viral and it is selling out everywhere. This concealer is going viral. I'm buying it right now. I got the last one. It's by Maybelline. Everyone's going crazy about it because it's a pink concealer and that's going viral right now. It's their Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 160 Brightener. This is actually a cult classic product. I've used this for years. The pink tone in this concealer is going to give you a really bright under eye. Let's try it out. I went in with a little bit of foundation and I added my regular concealer shade on this side. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this pink 
right here. See, to get this look, I would normally have to apply powder on top of my concealer, but I could totally skip this now. Okay, I definitely get the hype. I get why people are going crazy for the pink under eye concealer. It's definitely brightening. However, I don't always like my under eyes to be this bright. And I don't think I'm willing to ditch my current favorite concealer for a pink one like this. However, it does remind me how powerful and how great and iconic the Instant Age Rewind Concealer is. If you're somebody who's really into makeup trends, try the pink concealer. But if you're not, get your regular shade because this formula actually works and it's worked for me for 10 or eight, eight or 10 years, seriously. It's a go-to. Now, she did not say that this was sponsored. She did not say this was a paid partnership. She didn't say nothing about it. I hate to cut you off, but mm. she was definitely fishing, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. There was a whole lot of ass kissery going on. She said it was iconic. She said she loved it. She knew what she was doing. She wanted to use that sound bite to possibly bait them into sponsoring that for her, in my opinion. That is totally, to a T, what Manny described, in my opinion. Well, people down in her comment section were accusing her of fishing for a sponsorship. And of course, Glamzilla is gonna deny that all day long, but I did screenshot that description. And now we're gonna see in a few days, <laughs> a few weeks from now, if we go back to it, even we a few partnerships. And you know how we're all gonna find out if it actually is a paid partnership. It's going to be like the fing plague. It's not going to go away. It's gonna be like <laughs> Michaela and all of her sponsorships, because I keep seeing that fing for that under eye bomb. That's what's gonna happen. It's just gonna be <laughs> Glamzilla popping up about that Major wine concealer. You know, I'm on TikTok just as much as you are, and I saw that rock advertisement quite a bit, like yeah. at least probably a hundred times by now. Yeah, notice how I'm holding this like this because it actually hurts my wrist. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know if I have like dainty wrists or something, but goddamn, this is like, it's not comfortable. <laughs> if you own a Stanley Cup, please let me know down below if you like like it. Are you holding it this way as well? Are you holding it like this? Is like <laughs> like this because you don't want to <laughs> hold it out. It hurts. It honestly hurts to hold it like this because it like pulls your wrist down. It is not comfortable to hold it like this because <laughs> now this is pressing on. The back of your hand. This just doesn't make sense to me to have to hold it like this the whole damn time. I still stand by if Jacqueline Hill was doing a drama video, she'd be sitting there shaking it like this. <laughs> like, oh my god, what did Glamzilla do? What not a sponsorship. sponsorship. Not a sponsorship. And moving on from that, we have to talk about James Charles because in my opinion, he's trying to drum up a little bit of drama on social media before he announces the official launch of this makeup line that he has coming, which I am curious. I wonder if the people have been chosen for his campaign yet because I feel like I was seeing videos for that like every other video on TikTok for a while and I haven't seen one at least in like three or four days. But the reason that James Charles is getting talked about is because people are thinking that he was throwing shade at his ex-bestie, Tati Westbrook. Mm -hmm. You guys are all remember in 2019, James had one of the messiest breakups in social media history. Was it even really messy though? I think that Tati finished James in one swift blow. Did she though? Because he <laughs> seemed to bounce back pretty quickly. Well, the reason that James Charles is getting talked about right now is because he was doing a trend over on TikTok. Someone used a velour powder puff to do her foundation. This feels so wrong, but I'm gonna try it. Oh my God. What? Do you see? Okay, so apparently everyone's using their Velour Powder Puffs as foundation sponges now. I've never tried this. This seems really weird, but let's give it a shot. Some people said to wet this, and then some people said don't, so I did, and then I dried it off almost completely for like a good compromise. Okay, I have my foundations on my hand. I'm gonna give them a little mix together with the puff, and let's go right in. Oh. You know what? <laughs> oh, the girls might be onto something. Oh my God, this is no beauty filter. Look at how smooth it looks. Holy shit. Not to be one of those dramatic TikTok reviewers that are like, <gasps> bitch, I'm shook. This hex lays. But quite honestly, this looks <laughs> Let me know if I should try this with the rest of my base routine as well. We all know the Blendiful. Yes, we do. But we also know that Nikita Dragon had something mm -hmm. like that, as well as Patrick mm -hmm. Starr. So they're acting like this is new. Like, James Charles is not shocked by this. Well, no, people are thinking that James was taking a dig at Tati oh, because uh, obviously Tati's Blendiful is no more. Tati Beauty is, like, not doing anything right now. I still have a Blendiful somewhere. I really hope that I can find it because I really did like that product. Oh no, I completely agree. I think he did that being shady. How can you react to something that way that you've seen a million times before? Oh, there is no way that he did not see the video from Tati announcing the Blendiful because you know <laughs> that everything that Tati was doing on social media, this is probably vice versa for everyone that was involved in all of that. They have alerts on for anything that that person does. You cannot tell me that James Charles did not know that Tati Westbrook had a Blendiful. And you just can't tell me in general because after Tati came out with that Blendiful, there were so many knockoffs that came from it yeah just like nikita had hers you had patrick star that did his but on top of everyone thinking that he was throwing shade over in tati's direction they also think that he's throwing a little bit of shade at michaela oh, as yeah. well as meredith duxbury because he did insert that he did not want to be like oh my god 
like, you know, like the influencer gas. So my question is, everyone out there, as well as you, do you think that he was throwing shade at Tati? And do you think he was also shading Michaela? Why would he risk throwing shade at Michaela? Because you know he's gonna need that review over on the TikTok. Without a shadow of a doubt, mm. I know that he was in fact shading Michaela. Mm -hmm. There's no question about it. I think that James Charles secretly probably hates Michaela, mm. but he just wants to use her for her notoriety now. Uh. James Charles is not one to like competition with other people that can beat him at the game that he wants to play. And speaking of one of James Charles' ex-besties, <laughs> Jeffree Star is getting talked about right now on social media because he uploaded a video to TikTok reviewing the road skin from Hailey Bieber. Uh, hi guys, this came in the mail. So I just got back from Paris. I've been catching up here at the Star Yak Ranch and life has been really f***ing busy. So we are fully back to reviewing makeup and this came in the mail. Okay, so the packaging is so boring. And then I open it up and girl, she literally looks like she wants to die. Like, focus. Oh my God, that face is like, why did I do this? Why did I create a skincare brand? So when you're privileged and you use daddy's money and you've never worked a day in your life, I guess this is what we're doing. Okay, you guys, I don't even know what to say. This is so boring. I'm not even trying to be funny for once. This is what she's giving. In this house, we are team Selena and we are team not bullying anyone. So we're gonna skip today's review. Wait, 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 she doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. And just like Shawn Mendes said, bye. Now, you know Hailey Bieber has been a hot topic for a lot of people. They say that she's throwing shade at Selena all the time. They say that she's copying Selena. Honestly, I think she is. Oh, yeah. Single <laughs> white female vibes. It's a, it's a little weird coming from the Hailey Bieber camp, that's for sure. So after Jeffrey uploaded this video, throwing away the road beauty, it was taken down on TikTok for like harassment and bullying. It was put under review. Okay, I just did a review on TikTok of Road Skin by Miss Hailey. If you don't have TikTok, you're missing out. Oh, a lot of you just alerted me that my review is gone. I just logged on the TikTok and it says under review. I've never had this happen to a video, so I don't know what that means. I mean, I do, but like, what, what's, what's offensive? My honesty? Did Haley's PR team already attack it? What's happening? Eventually it did get put back up, but that's not where the tea comes in because people <laughs> were automatically shocked and like applauding that Jeffree Star threw away this road beauty. But now that TikTok put Jeffree's video back up, people are really taking a closer look at it and dissecting it. And they are calling Jeffree Star a liar. And they are saying that they do not believe that Hailey Bieber sent that to him in the mail. They are actually accusing Jeffree Star of purchasing this himself just so he could throw it in the trash. What do you think? Well, it's funny that you asked because Nick and I were outside walking the dog and I just had this thought pop in my head and I was like, what? if Jeffree Star actually bought this and Hailey Bieber turned around and exposed him and showed the receipts of him purchasing it. Like, could you imagine? Could you imagine if she actually like got online and she was like, <laughs> actually, Jeffree Star is a liar. Here's the receipt. I would and die. I'd buy the whole skincare line. I would make a donation no, in her name no, you to not. a charity. That would be no. the ultimate shade like imagine someone's getting online to trash a brand like i'm throwing it in the trash this is gross and the brand owner turns around and is like actually bitch uh, i did not send that to you in pr well jeffrey oh. knew when he uploaded that tiktok that that mm. was going to be problematic because he yeah. was inserting himself into that situation yeah. but for him to actually purchase the product and put money in Haley bieber's pocket and then try to trash her like if that comes out to be what he did that will be so shady let's get even more shady like imagine the camera cuts off from jeffrey star and he like digs into the trash can or he has like Maddie do it. Like, <laughs> get in there and like really pick the thing out of the trash. They put it back in the box and ship it back to Hailey Bieber. <laughs> but speaking of road skin, there are apparently a lot of people that are having negative reactions to it, but one product in particular, it's like a peptide treatment. And I didn't know this, but one of the people that actually had a really bad reaction to this was none other than Morgan Adams. I'm gonna tell you about the worst skin product of all freaking time. I'm about to get annoyed, so I have to move into a more peaceful area. Eventually I was able to buy the Barrier Restoring Cream. And then this is the one that everyone graves about the glazed donut the peptide glazing thing so I got these in the mail I was so excited to try them because everyone was raving about Miss Haley Bieber skincare line okay now that I have emotionally recovered from this I will show you pictures of what Haley Bieber's skincare line did to my skin it did not make me a glowy ooey gooey glazed donut it gave me skin rashes that bled for days and days and days and days and it took an entire month for my face to feel normal again I would have been better off rubbing straight bleach on my face so if you're wondering if you should go through the hassle of buying road beauty don't okay if you've ever listened to anything that I've ever said in my entire life, 
don't. But it's not just Morgan Adams that has had this kind of reaction to this product. If you just go over on TikTok and type in like road skin reviews, it's not the good. number one thing that you're gonna see people complaining about is this peptide treatment that she has. And their lips are literally looking like they have like hives and just cracks and just disgusting all over it. I just need to know if this has happened to anyone else. Um, I bought this road lip balm when it first launched, like the very first time. It's the watermelon one. And when I first got it, I used it with no problems. Like I put it on every night, every day, literally it was my regular lip balm. But now I can't even wear it anymore because it's literally giving my lips like freaking chemical burns or something. I don't know if it's, I just developed an allergy to it or it's something that's in this, but I didn't have an issue at first. And now I literally, my lips hurt and I have been having to wear like aquifer on them every single day because of this. So I just wanna know if this happened to anyone else or if it's just me. And then there are people that bought these products because they wanted to support Hailey Bieber and really try out the skincare line that are saying that these items are not labeled correctly. And people that have a nut allergy really need to like watch out when it comes to their skincare line because they are breaking out in hives and there's like some kind of like nut oil in it. Hello, I bought the Hailey Bieber skincare kit and it turns out they do not, for their peptide lip treatments, they do not um, explicitly say that there is a tree nut oil in it and I am allergic to tree nuts. Wow. Five minutes after putting on the lip treatment that I got in the mail today, this happened to my face. Here's some more pics of my face, the other side of my face, and hives growing on my forehead and on my cheek. Every single one of them has this Orbegana something seed oil. Through research, I have found that it is a nut oil, and if you're allergic to tree nuts, you should not use oils derived from tree nuts. There is no nut warning, and that is extremely concerning. So for my tree nut allergy or nut allergy people, do not get the peptide lip treatments. And wrote, I'm waiting on my email from you back, and I'd like a refund. And better labeling. So in my opinion, without trying this skincare at all and just watching people's reviews, there was one girl that like broke down ingredients because she's really into clean skincare.
Okay, so we've been talking about Road skincare and why I personally would not use it. I am very into clean beauty and I take it very seriously and I just don't think that Road is very clean and I want to show you why. So in my opinion, skincare is just supposed to be super beneficial for your skin. You're supposed to leave it on for a long period of time, overnight or all day under your makeup, whatever. And you really want it to uh, be beneficial for your skin. This is the Road Barrier Restore Cream, and that is an ingredient that I personally just try to stay away from. And this is why. So you can see it is regulated and its concentration cannot exceed 1% of the finished product. However, if you're layering, if you're using all the products or you're using any other products with this ingredient in it, then you're going over the limit and um, it doesn't really matter. Now this is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. This one, I would personally just stay away from. There are a lot of alternatives to this that are way cleaner. These ingredients pretty much all have the same side effects. So as you can see here, mineral oils, moderate risk. Um, I'm still in the process of learning like what all this stuff is. Mule in the body, particularly in the lip nodes and liver, and they can cause inflammatory reactions whose exact effects are not known. Um, yeah, it says that present in half of all tested lip balms yeah honestly it's just like i personally struggle with swollen lip nodes so i try to stay away from anything like this but there are just so many alternatives i personally just a personal opinion would not use this synthetic wax all the same stuff and then again personal opinion i try to stay away from synthetic fragrances essential oils are way better unless you're using like a perfume or something but obviously not on your face <laughs> For the Barrier Restore Cream, there are some alternatives here. I recommend La Roche-Posay. I know that they are a really good brand. I haven't tried much of their stuff yet, but I definitely want to. Now again, makeup and skincare, two completely different things, but you could just look here for a reference. Rare Beauty, Pore Diffusing Primer is 100 out of 100. Love this, and I would say, you know, this is good to use. If you want niacinamide, I would recommend this niacinamide serum from Good Molecules, as well as the toner that is one of the key ingredients in the Road Barrier Restore Cream. For hyaluronic acid, I would do this, this, Mad Hippie, and Mad Hippie Corrective Peptide Serum is my favorite peptide anything. There's a lot of red flags, and I'm going to have to pass on the Road Skin Beauty. I would never, if it wasn't anybody that was known for their skincare mm. routine, I would never buy a skincare line from a famous person. This is the number one reason as to why I would never believe like a celebrity when they're talking about their skincare line or they're coming out with one. They have access to a lot of treatments that normal people out there do not. They're going and getting a facial once a week. They're doing lasers here and there for maintenance and all that. The reason that their skin looks amazing all the time is definitely not because they're slathering on some private label skincare. J-Lo with your olive oil. And with all that said, everyone, that is it for this video. Video. We hope that you did enjoy it. If you have made it this far, please leave a trash can emoji <laughs> for the fact that Jeffree Star threw this road skin. And let us know down below if you think that Jeffree Star like purchased this himself just to throw a little shade at her. Or do you think that she might have actually sent it to him and it was in a different container than the normal PR package? Something is definitely fishy about this. Like my antennas are up. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with all that said, we will see you guys all in our next video. Bye.